Guys, you know what time it is. It's the new 26 Rainbow Powered, and we're gonna get some contra up in this. You see, last week, when we went back to Maine at, and Applejack mentioned that she was going to miss the Sister Hoop Social. Yes, this is literally a sequel episode to that episode. By the way, season two. But, Brother Hoop Social is actually quite different and quite interesting. And it allows Big Mac to show how much he loves and cares. But it's also another Dave Polsky episode, which expect a lot of comedy to be had. So, is it actually good? Well, that depends on who you ask, and if you're asking me, uh, finally, finally, after a long streak of just consistently good episodes, We've got ourselves a meh, in my opinion. Although, there are some points in which, which the episode accelerates into, into great territory. So, if you, haven't if you haven't watched last week's New 26, I'll have a link to it in the description, because... To understand this episode, you have to understand the last one in a way. Uh, as Applejack goes off with Rarity to answer the map last episode, it leaves Appleboom, who has been preparing for the Sister of Social, Social kind of bummed out. So much so that she's ready to not participate in the event. But, leave it to Big Mac to use one of the social's many loopholes to try to get into the event to help her young sister, sister win a blue ruin. By cross-dressing and acting as a woman! Orchard Blossom is... It's name? Uh, I, I'm confused. But anyway, Orchard Blossom acts like a traditional Southern Belle. Gotta love them stereotypes. And, and Big Mac tries his best to win each of the social many events. But, the entire social knows the gig is up. Most importantly... Importantly, Sweetie Belle, Scootaloo, and Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is preparing in the social as Scootaloo's participating sister. Again, loose loophole on how the definition of a sister is not bound by blood. Rather interesting that they would use that. So, does that mean stepsisters would qualify? Or just sisters in terms of really, really close friends? I'm guessing that's what they're saying, and it's a nice touch. Most Southern families typically do that, seeing that I come from partial of one Southern family. As the Sister of Social continues, continues, the gig gets worse and worse, leading up to the race at the end of the social. You know, the same race that was in the original Sister of Social, in which the switch happened. But this time, we get to see the entirety of the race. In which Big Big Macintosh is disguised, slowly comes off piece by piece, and this is a great use of the actual race and the reveal of the actual, the actual, the actual 
you know, swooping up of things in the event, even though we, the fans, have been aware of it the whole time. So, when Applejack, when Apple Bloom and Big Mac win the race, the gig is ultimately revealed. The two are disqualified, making Apple making Scootaloo and Rainbow Dash the winners. But the question you would naturally ask is why would Big Macintosh go through the trouble of playing Miss Doubtfire and cross-dressing as a woman? Because back when Apple Moon was younger, she used to look up to him as a hero, as someone of respect. They used to be really close, close between each other. But now that, now that Bloom and Applejack are, are closer as sisters can be, and of course, Applejack is hero percent, Big Macintosh feels left out and forgotten about. That his heroic contribution his contributions to Apple Boom's growing up are often forgotten about, seeing that he doesn't do anything super heroic or anything save the world per se, which leads to the ultimate moral, that you don't have to go out and save the world, world or do anything important to be a hero. But this also, this episode also speaks about the closeness and dedication of family. How, when you have a family such as, such as the Apples, and there are so many people to look up to and so many, so many heroes, that you can often get lost in the shuffle. But, true family stay together, true family, will do anything, even embarrass themselves, to make a fellow family member feel at home, or for them to accomplish something. Being a member of a true family, or having a true deep friendship, means that sometimes, you're willing to put yourself on the back burner. Burner to make somebody else happy. And sometimes you do, if you're depressed about feeling locked up, have problems expressing, expressing those feelings, even to the closest knits of your family. Sometimes... You feel like you would be a father to your significant family member. Instead, that's exactly what the family wants to hear. The fact that you are bothered that you're left out. For Big Macintosh, he's been a character of few words throughout the FIM series, but his confession over the reasons Reasons he joined the social are some of the most poignant words that the character has ever spoken. And poignant in terms terms of the moral and lesson. Big Mac might be a reserved character, only saying yep and nope. But inside is a character filled with expression, feelings. And often you can see how he feels through his eyes, which is proof of Pony's incredible expressionism. Nism. And this episode has made, made me appreciate Big Mac even as a fan a bit more. The fact that he pulls off a perfectly well done southern voice, I have to give give the voice actor behind Big Mac huge tour de force props for for his job well done trying 
trying to Mrs. Doubtfire fire his way out of this problem. Plus, we get a quite adorable and poignant little song in the episode called called Sisterhood. But, leave it to Dave Polsky to have plenty of sight gags and plenty of references in the comic timing to be on point. However, this episode just doesn't connect as well as the other episodes this season. If you take out the fact that it's connected directly to Made in Manhattan, this episode seems like a slice of life throwaway, not part of a greater continuity. The fact that we get one end of one story one week and one end of one story the next. But it's that continuity connection that has me rewarding the writers extremely. Sure, it's not the first time they did this. Look at, look at, you know, Games Ponies Play in the episode sewed before it for it to see a connection of this level last time. But for this time, it works out well and tells a nice, heartwarming tale. It may not be the best of the season, but assuringly, it's the most heartwarming. If you can get over the cringe, which this episode is heavy in the cringe humor. So if you don't like cringe humor, this episode isn't going to fit you. But if you have a family member who's feeling forgotten today, have a chat with them. See how they're doing. Make them feel wanted. Learn from this episode. It may only be a 3 out of 6. But the implications to your family may mean more than that. Until next week, find peace in your own nirvana. And thanks for watching.